So let me say this. There's a reason why some guys, actually a lot of guys, decide they're going to get their act together whenever you finally say, I'm done. You know, whenever you were just communicating, when you were being patient, when you were being graceful, you didn't see any changes. No needle move. There was no motivation to do anything really different. Or if you did see any changes, it was really temporary. A week or two, then he went back to his old. Um, but I'm going to tell you why some guys wait until you finally have shut the doors on your heart. When you've checked out mentally, whenever you've checked out physically, in a lot of cases, you've, you've actually left the relationship to finally get their act together, to finally start keeping those promises. And I want to talk about this because a sister asked me this, and I think she's struggling with, you know, what to do about it. Like, she sees that this is the guy she's always wanted, but her heart can't even open up to him right now. And I'm going to tell y'all, there's some obvious reasons. There's like three, maybe four reasons. The first one, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's cut out all, of, all the fluff. The first reason why a guy's going to wait until... You actually leave or are one foot out the door to get his act together, to start being knight in white shining armor that you knew that he could have been the whole time. It's because he's manipulative. All right, let's go ahead and get this one out the way. It's really obvious. For those who don't know, this is a form of gaslighting. This is a form of keeping, keeping you in confusion about what you've experienced. It, it gets you to question if what you experienced was really what you experienced because he's flooding you with all of these new emotions and all of the emotions that you wish you had. You know, you finally start feeling like a priority, cared for, considered, talked to like a human being, prioritized, all of that good stuff, but only when you're one foot out the door and for real this time. Y'all know how like, you know, you were communicating, you were being patient and graceful and nothing was happening. But then whenever you like something in you just clicks, and now all of a sudden you can tell like he gets the memo. He really does get it. Well, of course, this can be just a manipulation, a gaslighting attempt, and, and more specifically, love bombing. Some people think love bombing is just on the way into a new relationship. No, love bombing can happen anytime that a person, if, if, he, if he is narcissistic now, and not all guys are, but if he is, love bombing can happen every time that he can sense that you've gotten the courage. Something has changed about you. There's somebody else you're talking to. There's something deeper within you that you found and you've reached to. There's, some, there's something God is giving you in order to get out of that relationship. And, and the love bombing can happen. Love bombing can happen with gifts. Love bombing can happen with whatever your love language is. Now, all of a sudden, he got all the time in the world, all the, all the words of affirmation. He want to speak to the queen of you. He want to show you off. And again, it's all manipulation. The moment that you get back vulnerable, the moment that you lose all that courage, the moment that you kind of start getting addicted and used to this, boom, he'll snatch the rug from up under your feet all over again. Okay, that's the first reason. The second reason, and I've got to be fair. Some of y'all ain't want to hear this, but I've got to be fair because men are not mind readers. The second reason why a guy may get his act together only after you've already left the relationship, mentally or physically, is because there wasn't proper communication on the urgency of what you needed from him. And there are a lot of guys who, who come to me all the time and they tell me this, like they're not mind readers. And, they, you know, that woman just left. But the whole time she was just hoarding up resentment about what she was feeling instead of stating what her boundaries were, what her comforts and discomforts were. She just felt like he should just get it because she just got him. And y'all got to understand something. Men, we don't have women's intuition. We can't just look at you the way a lot of y'all can look at us and know something is wrong. And a lot of times, honestly, we're just forgetful. So if you're not big on communication, you may have run into this issue. So you got to make sure that you are. Now, the last two I really want to go in on because I feel like a lot of you guys do communicate. A lot of y'all have no problem saying, this is what I need from you. This is how you tripping. This is how you slipping and you need to tighten up. If that's you. The third reason why a guy may only get his act together whenever you've already checked out, whatever, is because he's built on abandonment. Y'all, it's more guys than ever, I think, now, just because, you know, 80s and 70s and all of that, we had a mass migration of fathers out of the home and a whole lot of other stuff we're not going to get into. But there are a lot of guys who have that story of, as a child, you know, my dad left me. As a child, I only had one parent and she wasn't there enough. And what happens I've seen on the dating scene is a lot of women get like smitten when they hear that. Oh my goodness, you, everybody just turned their back on you and you was just left at the doorstep of a fire station and somehow you still, you made it through all of that. And he'll have all of those stories about abandonment. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, when I was little, they sent me up a river and I was raised by wolves. And like, look, cool. I'm not mad at nobody. I'm not shaming no dude for being abandoned as a child. Okay. I just want you to understand it's still a red flag. Not it's a red flag just because he's bad character or something like that. 
It's a red flag specifically if, along with that whole abandonment story, he doesn't have any work that he's done to heal up those abandonment wounds. Because I promise you, if he got hurt like that as a child, I don't care how thriving he is now, how functional he is now, how good of a guy he is in the rest of his life. When it comes to somebody trying to love the real him, that wound is going to surface at some point. If he hasn't done any work against that wound, to heal that wound, to patch up that wound, professional or otherwise, some type of help. If you don't hear anything about a buffer of therapy or some, some type of intervention on that wound, he's going to project that onto you. Now, he could project that in very malicious ways, you know, just doing anything to basically just keep access to you in a relationship. But there are some more subtle ways that he could do that. And one way is to wait until you're actually leaving him to get his act together, to keep promises, to do what you've been asking him to do. Now, these may come from a genuine place on his end. I'm just telling you, and I mean this with all love to anybody who's ever been, like I've been there before, so I can speak personally on this. But he's defective. No matter how good his character is outside of this, he's a good, great dad, he's a great teacher, he's a football coach, he's woo woo woo. He is defective when it comes to being loved on a, in a, on a much deeper level. Because he's he's only going to be able to speak the language of abandonment. That's the only thing that moves his needle. That abandonment wound that he never healed became a part of his identity. Therefore, it takes you speaking that language of abandoning him all over again for him to say, oh, man, let me do X, Y, and Z. Let, because because as a child, he didn't have a choice. Now that he's an adult, like that's his, his survival mechanisms are only going to kick into to play whenever somebody's getting ready to leave him. So... That's one reason. Now, the last one, and I don't think anybody's ever heard, uh, talked about this. At least I haven't heard it. But I need my, my brothers to really listen to this one. The last reason why a guy may wait until you're one foot out or two feet out the door in order to get his act together, and I'm talking about like genuinely getting his act together, is because he's starting to feel that guilt that can change any man, that, that guilt of losing a good woman. And let me say this, brothers, everybody really, when you fumble a real woman, you feel that the rest of your life. You feel that the rest of your life. And the reason why I emphasize to my brothers is because, okay, ladies, I've seen women be changed by the pain of heartbreak, right? But I've seen men be irreparably changed by the, the heaviness, the weight of guilt and shame from past decisions. It's just different. And, and the reason why I believe it's different is because men, we, we're not nearly as good as forgivers as women. Like, y'all know, ladies, y'all, put I down in the chat. If a man has done something to you, you've forgiven him for, but you know good and well he wouldn't forgive you for half of the stuff that he was doing. Put I down in the chat right now. I want to know if I'm talking to anybody. Put I down in the chat. And the reason for that is, is because it comes from a personal place. We're not just bad forgivers of other people. Men also struggle, generally speaking, with forgiving ourselves. So we hold shame. We hold guilt and, and what you see is a lot of guys in this situation, they'll go on years later after a relationship where they really messed up and they're the 50, 60-year-old in a club full of 20-year-olds still looking for instant gratifications, really just escaping from that pain of messing up something real. And I'm not reaching here. Like, seriously, if you talk to them, they'll let you know, yeah, I had love once. Relationships ain't for me. No, that's just what they're telling themselves now. The problem is uh, some women you're not going to find twice. You, you can find a good woman anywhere. I'm going to be real with you. But there are some women with a soul, with a vibe that you're just not going to find twice. And whenever you fumbled that woman and you know that you should have done better, you could have done better. And now another man gets the opportunity that you wasted. That guilt will eat you alive. And there are ways to overcome that. You got to be professional help. You got to get spiritual help. There's a whole lot of stuff involved. But a lot of guys don't. So then they go on looking for instant gratifications to distract them from them demons that's kicking their tail every single time that they see a family out and about. Uh, every time that they, they get stressed or sick and they remember how that woman, that once in a lifetime woman, would check on them and tend to them and sometimes put her own needs second. You see guys trying to distract themselves. Either they develop addictions, drinking problems, or they go on to just run through a ton of women. Like they do something to basically try to continue filling that void. But of course, ain't nothing going to fill that void. And unless they get healing and they can release that shame and that guilt, ain't nothing going to fill that void. And that's why when you got a real one, brother, like I, I know people say, oh, it's better to have love than lost and never to have loved at all. I don't believe that's true. Not when it comes to loving a real woman. Boy, look, 
It's better to have left that woman alone than to have loved the real one and have lost her. Look at some of these dudes who ain't never been the same since they let go of a real one. They fumbled the real one. And, and then she went on to thrive with another man. Then she went on to have fan. Matter of fact, and I mean this with all due respect, but if some of y'all uh, follow Shaq or whatever, you, you would have seen Shaq talk about Shawnee O'Neal. And I remember in an interview recently, I didn't even have this plan to talk about. But he was like, they was like, you know, do you ever feel like you messed up? He was like, I live in like a 15,000 square foot house by myself. You don't think I know that I messed up? Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. Now, this is him speaking. I'm not taking his words out of context. This is him speaking about that situation. Even though he showed love to Shawnee and her new husband and all that good stuff, and they are thriving. <laughs> her husband is doing well. She's doing well. You can see the changes on Shaq's face. So he's functional. He's successful. He got all of this stuff. But you can hear it in his voice. There's a hole in that man's heart. There's a hole in that man's heart. And that's what happens to a man that loses a real one. I'm just keeping G with you. And so what you'll have is a guy who it takes him feeling that guilt or starting to really fear that guilt to finally say, you know what? I'm ready to be the man that you always asked me to be. But here's the danger in doing that. And this is for the sister also. She's in this situation. The one that asked me this question. Here's the danger. Guys, some women don't open up that door more than once. Some women can't go back to seeing you how they used to see you when they believed in you. Some women, they could forgive you. They can forgive you and they can still have love for you and never talk to you again. Never want to deal with you again. And it not come from a place of hate for you, but rather love for them. Some women don't even know how to open that door again, even if they wanted to. And they'll try and they'll, and they'll fail. Like they'll, they'll fail at letting you back in and it won't even be a conscious decision. They heart just don't open up like that for anybody and definitely not for the same person more than once. And that's why I always stress like not just being good because a lot of men are good. I really do believe that. There are a lot of men who are good, but there aren't nearly as many men who are evolved past that stage where they got to learn this the hard way. And, and for women out there, because I, I believe a lot of you have to also evolve to stop trying to raise men, to educate men, train men up, initiate them into manhood. Like, stop trying to date guys and asking them to grow up. It's a lot better for your time, your energy, and your heart for you to simply date men who are already grown, evolved men. That's what I call them, evolved men, who have that wisdom, who have that understanding, but can also apply it in action form consistently. Consistently. That's very important. I shouldn't have to tell you why. Now, if you're saying, well, where are these evolved men at? Where are they at? Because I don't see them. Let me tell you something. Evolved men are out here. And they are looking for women who have also done the work on themselves, women who are done with the games, just the same way that they, that they are. But a lot of women these days have been taught how to be great, have been taught how to be awesome, but don't know how to attract that which they deserve. And that's where you see a lot of women today failing. Let's keep it all the way real. I'm not here to sugarcoat nothing. That's where a lot of women fail. It's not in being the, a man's blessing. It's not in being a wife or anything like that, but in attracting the type of man that they deserve now that they've become that blessing, now that they've become that wife, that great person. And if you struggle with that, and you know you struggle with that if you keep on meeting the same old clowns in a different mask, if you keep on attracting bottom tier guys, I did a free masterclass teaching strategies on how to attract evolved men. Matter of fact, how to make them crave you. How to make them crave you. And there are strategies that you have to use in order to make that happen. So if you haven't gotten access to that masterclass, click the link pinned right here. Click that link pinned right here and get access to this masterclass. It's absolutely free. Put your money away. I dropped gems for over an hour. This right here that we just talked about ain't got nothing on this masterclass right here. Click that link, get access to Secrets to Making Evolved Men Crave You. All right? So you can have multiple evolved men craving you. That way you could choose the one that's right for you. Ethically, of course, but thousands of women have already testified to the effectiveness of those strategies. Get access to them now. I'll click the link in the caption if you haven't yet. But back to what I was saying. Ladies and gentlemen, really. Um... <laughs> If you are in a situation, I'm going to just direct this at women. Um, but if you're in a situation like the woman that asked me this question and your guy or your ex guy is showing all of these signs, things that you've been asking him for, you are pleading for, you prayed for. But it's only after you finally checked out and it's only after you left. I'm not saying it can't work by you giving it another try if you are able to. But I will say this, you run the risk 
of creating this dynamic where you're going to have to do that every time you need some changes. You're going to have to leave or almost leave every time that you want your needs met. And every time that you make that threat and you don't follow through on that threat and you don't stand on that threat, that puts you in a position where you're going to have to do it even more because that threat becomes less and less potent, becomes less and less important. And I say, save your time. You only live once. You ain't got time to be spending it on somebody whose mama didn't finish the job of raising him into a man. But those are just my thoughts. If you got anything from this conversation, click that share button right now. A little arrow or whatever. Click that share button right now. Bless somebody else on your timeline with this right now. And if you're in the market for an evolved man, because you're tired of dealing with guys who don't deserve you, click the link that you see pinned right here down in the caption. Get access to the free masterclass I did, Secrets to Make an Evolved Man Crave View. And get access to it before it comes down, because it won't be up forever. I'll holler at y'all, lady. I'll be good. Peace!